Hey everyone, this is iCarly. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just kidding. This is not, this is GM Tower Sessions. Thank you so much. We're so excited to be here. We are Mirror Maze. Hold for applause. Random dancing. Cool. Um, yeah, we're Mirror Maze. My name is Kov Zalanki. Um, he said introduce myself. He didn't specify if I was supposed to introduce you guys. I would like to, but now I'm like, should I save it for later? Should I like, should I do it one by one? Because I don't know how, if we're going to need uh, introductions to, to be stretched out to the whole time. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. I, I think I'm going to do multiple introductions. That way I can have like, Maybe like a section dedicated to each person. Doing things live is scary, and I don't like that I'm gonna be able to watch this later because usually when we perform, well, when we perform live, it's like, it's like I never have to see what I did. If I fuck up, oh, I immediately, immediately, immediately I screwed that up. I'm so sorry. Um, if I mess up, then, then I never know, and now I'm gonna know if I mess up. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, anyway. Oh, and we can see people responding. I do not leave the lizard alone. Oh, thank you so much. Um, no, no. Okay, this is cool. Um, Kaden, if you need me to read to you, let me know. He's still learning how to read. And um, no, just kidding. He just needs glasses. Oh, cool. Oh, they made it bigger. Thank you so much. I'm finally early to one of your posts. Do you guys want to? Do, should we do like a script reading? Should we all cast ourselves? I'm Beppa. She seems the. Never mind. Uh, all right, I'm Beppa. You're smiling for you. You're Elijah. Uh, we'll cast more as more come off. She does not leave the lizard alone. Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess so. We don't need to. Oh, amazing. Um, all right, should we do our first song? All right, cool. Oh, let's. Yeah. First, we're gonna do a little jam. Then we're making a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but we forgot the jam, so we add some jam. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, this next song is called Sink and Swim. It's streaming everywhere except Apple Music, maybe? I don't know. No, is it on Apple it's Music? Not, it's just weird stuff's going on with it. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Sink and Swim is streaming everywhere. Um, let me know what you think. It's the best song I've ever made. So if you disagree, you're wrong. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
with my memories in your now. Trying to get it through your head. How I regret you, what we did. It was seen, you were swimming, you can't pretend. You were always kind of different when it came to him. We were out, we were in, knowing what we've been. The truth is written on my skin. We were lost, we were found when I turned around. We were never really strong enough to pull me out. Thought we were drowned, you made it sound so afraid to paint in my background. Do you care while you're floating? Truth or dare is all going. Afraid if they think you won't win, so we drink to begin. It was sick, it was swim. You didn't mention that you left the back door open. That you left the oven and turned to ten. In a mansion pool like an ocean. But I never would have thought I'd push you in. There's a lot of open conversations. I know you and now you wanna let me take you. Yeah. Do you feel the water separated? Will you wash away with what we build? Please, please calm down. All right, my favorite part of that for sure was looking behind me and see. Yeah, he knows. He knows. And see Kaden just going with no expression on his face. Uh, that was fun. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's see. Let's 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 uh, read our praise. Please share the live stream. Oh, that's DM Tower Sessions posted that. Okay. Um, it's Violet Betty. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who that is, but she sounds hot. Uh, just kidding. Uh, we know her personally. Good Irish boy. The Irish boy is good. He is a good boy. I can tell you that from experience. Um, how is the audio, guys? Oh, why? That's just us. Okay. Um, oh, Beppa says good. Okay, marching bad, Caden. Okay, marching bad, Caden. Let's go. Um, we're supposed to talk about like. Just like a little bit of the process behind writing that song, I think. Um, that song in particular, uh, when I came into the band, I think the instrumental was mostly built by Max, and then I, I like kind of restructured it, and then I added the lyrics and the top line and the melody, and I was like obsessed with it. And then when we started looking for a rhythm guitarist, um, I didn't know if I liked the song because it's hard to judge things that I worked on, I guess. And then we started looking for a rhythm guitarist and we auditioned Caden and he loved Sink and Swim so much and it gave me a lot of confidence in the song and it made me feel like, oh, I want to work with this guy and I want to collaborate with him because, <laughs> so, because, because I, like, I like his, how he makes, I don't know, he, I, I liked his taste. I liked his taste in music. I liked the music he introduced me to, and I liked that he liked our music so much as it was, and I feel like he brought a lot to the table in a way that was really cool, and so it made me excited. And so Sink and Swim is interesting because we wrote it, but I feel like you're still so much like a part of it. Um, yeah. And he liked the way he tastes. Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. Hi, Annette. Did you guys hear me say crap? I said crap instead of anything worse. Are we proud of me? Um... Anyway, uh, Phantomation, have you guys heard of Never Felt Nostalgia? They're sick. Have I heard of Never Felt Nostalgia? I don't understand the question and I won't respond to it. Oh, it's a band. Uh, have you guys? I haven't. 
Well, I'll check them out if someone reminds me. Never felt nostalgia. I feel nostalgia all the time. In fact, most of the songs on our upcoming album are about nostalgia. Wait, your drummer has no shirt? Yeah, he's a sly dog. He's a sly dog, let me tell you. Um, anyway, <laughs> shout out to Smilin' for you. Um, okay, do you guys want to do another song? I'm down or not. You could just vibe. Let's do another song. Can you guys hear me? You're just not responding to me on purpose? Just kidding. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Um, all right, this next song. What's the next song? Oh, it's a surprise. I can't. My perfect life for bees die. Changing my machinery. Okay, cool. Changing my machinery. Containing my scenery. I'm thinking nice to me. me. Life doesn't come easily. So when my best to me you wanted. Never heard a channel when you're haunted. Timing on impeccable. Every day is festival. Sorry, I misread the situation. But I'm tired of them. The conversation. Is it even always the fun? Paradise is hard to find I'll make a mess and break some laws I don't care if it's still advised I'm tired of living for applause Hate everyone I idolize I'll take it back and break your trust Yeah, I don't care if I despise Let's go back to the way it was When it's too young to be traumatized So am I just best when you wanted? Never heard a channel when you're haunted Timing on impeccable Every day is flexible but I'm tired of empty conversations Is it even worth the fight? Paradise is hard to fight And break some laws by singing higher than I can Then I'll finally be the cop I told everyone I am I'm looking back on what I lost In how hard I would still try And wondering why it's so exhausting Trying to find my perfect life So am I the best thing you wanted? Never heard a channel when you're haunted Timing on impeccable Every day is Is it even worth the fight? Paradise is hard to find It's who we are, don't tell your dad I wrecked his car and what we had I'm ready to get out of here Thank you so much. Um, it's not good for my ego, the lack of clapping after it. It feels it's like, oh, okay, all right, never mind. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I love that song. I like it more every time I play it. I feel like that was the best we've ever done going into the bridge. I did, was that right, what we did? Okay, because sometimes we've like kind of been changing things. It's interesting when we perform a lot, it's like, got it. It's like, um, it's hard to know like what, like, like we, we take like feedback, like we see like how the audience is jamming certain things and then we're like, oh, let's change this, let's change this. And so we're kind of working on the bridge of that one. Anyway, um, I'm gonna, I, about that song real fast. He brought that song to the band. It was the first song he ever like wrote. And then, well, it wasn't really that song, but it, it eventually became that song. Yeah. The, the instruments were the same. The lyrics kind of switched up because it was kind of like the first cringy song I ever wrote, and then Cough made it good. 
No, that's not that's not what happened. But I do feel like we've made each other a lot better of songwriters. It, it's in because it, that's yeah, that's the first thing we ever. I remember writing that at Murph's house and yeah, like Murph's and I was like, okay, so like here I love this. I think what you want to do different is here, and it was like our first like, huh? Yeah, and I and I left that lyric for a bit, and then I was like, no, that lyric is such an iconic part of the song, and then I brought it back. But yeah, I, I loved his lyrics from the beginning. He had like some really great ideas and like and a lot of like really good like spe specificity that I liked. And so yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna introduce the band members. Um, so I want to first introduce Mr. Max Handelman, who's on electric guitar. Yeah. Yeah, his fingers can do crazy things, and he's also great at guitar. Um, and then Mr. Jacob Boyle on the drums. Jacob is the best. Jacob is like, he's such a cool person, and he's become like one of my best friends, and like I just really like hanging out with him, and he's a really nice guy, and he's ginger, but I'm not afraid of him because I've learned that they're not all terrifying um and then and then Caden Cantwell on the rhythm guitar who's just delightful and who also like does a lot of like management stuff for our band which is incredible and like keeps us going and he just came back from Japan which is really cool he was gone for a long time I cried every single day and I sh shied away <laughs> from from any tears but <laughs> <laughs> While he was gone. Um, and then, of course, I want to... Oh. What's your last name? Jake. Jake Whitmore. Jake Whitmore. Jake Whit I'm just going to call you Whitmore from now on. Anyway, Jake Whit... Don't think we don't know our bass player's name. This is only a second time playing with us. Yeah, so Jake is hes just filling in right now, and we're so grateful to have him uh, as the temporary Mirror Maze bassist because he's very, very talented. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for making me look good and for making us look good. I love getting to play in a band with people who I really love and care about. I wouldn't do it if it was just like random people. I really, really love them. Okay, we got a question from It's B. Violita But yeah, the real question is who is Mirror Maze? That's a great question. Okay, next song. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're gonna do a cover next. We don't usually do covers, but we have a lot of time to fill, and we love this song. This is our favorite. <laughs> well, we did this cover because this cover is never leaving our set list. We just really like it, and um, and yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, 
Yeah, I love that song. I love Blink-182. I did. I knew like the singles when I joined the band, and then, um, and then they're Caden's favorite band, and he showed me them, and I listened to their whole discography, and I was like, oh, oh, and I was like, damn, and so I became a really big Blink-182 fan. These guys all have a really diverse, um, amazing music taste, and so, um, and I try since I I'm writing songs for and with them, I try to familiarize myself with it, and they've all introduced me to such incredible music. That <laughs> that I love so much. <laughs> that, that I love so much. Um, and so yeah, and Blink is just one of them. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you guys have ever. We're gonna do like a reality show. Like I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Glee Project or Legally Blonde: The Search for the Next El Woods on MTV. But that's basically what we're gonna do to pick our new basis. So stay tuned. It's gonna be nine episodes. They'll be on streaming, and I'm lying. Okay. Um, uh, I thought Jacob Boyle laughed. When when I get a Jacob Boyle laugh, it really just it makes everything better for me. And so I'm always like, I say something. Oh, what was so funny? What was so funny? Did I do good? Did I get Did I get one out of you? <laughs> Oh, all right, let's go. Frick yeah. Um, all right, what song are we doing next? I starts now. But yeah, let me talk about my process when I wrote the song Damn It by Blink-182. I was basically like, I, what happened was I had stubbed my toe. And I was like, damn it. Wait, is damn it a cuss word? Okay. And I was like, damn it. And then I was like, wait a second, that'll be a great song. Mirror Maze is my favorite. Thank you so much, Shadow. Legally Blonde, the musical starring Jacob Boyles. Jacob Boyle would be an excellent Hellwoods. Thank you guys so much for all the love in the chat. I, um... It's really nice. We didn't advertise this show at all because we were like, well, because Jacob Boyle was like, we should advertise this show. And I'm like, someone else can do that. I'm too scared. And, um, and then I don't think any of us did. Yeah, like just now. Yeah, so we didn't really advertise it. But thank you so much for coming. We just love Brother I'm Telling Mommy. Okay. I am Christian is in the chat. Well, I am Jewish, but it's okay. Ooh, does that mean we should do... Well, never mind. What song is next? Hava Nagila. Hava Nagila. Hava Nagila. Hava Nagila. Hey, Israel. Hava Naranana. Hava Naranana. Hava Naranana. Hey, Israel. Oh, 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 all right, it's really anti-Semitic that you guys don't know how to play that song. You what? Very good. Um, okay, our next song. Oh, this next one is slow. Um and I hope you like it. And it's coming out soon. We've been, oh guys, we got, we got a new mix. So let me know the feedback so we can, yeah. Um, it's really, it's, it's fun. Okay, yeah, cool. Or not fun, I don't know. Form your own opinions. That pizza looks bomb. Sky so blue, my trust in you. Behind your glasses, the mirror smashes. The hope remains the same. Things will change. All the dreams we would talk about, all the reasons we would laugh out loud. Now, you're 
What's up? Oh, nobody said a single thing. We should play a game. We should play like Duck Duck Goose. That doesn't make any sense. Let's not play Duck Duck Goose. Stupid idea immediately. Um, somebody said lick the mic. Oh, I'll save that. Luna has an advertisement. I'm sh- Can Luna some- say something? Luna has an advertisement to make. I'd be interested in hearing that. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends, and let's go to very distant land with Jake on bass and Jacob on drums and Caden on guitar and Max on other <laughs> And Cobb, the singer. It is adventure time. Yeah, so you, a lot of you think that he plays guitar, but he actually plays other guitar. It's a completely different instrument. Um, Are we going to talk about this? Jacob, I'm asking you specifically. <laughs> Alright, what's our next song? Oh, somebody mentioned Funny Girl. So, I, somebody said, uh, not nah, fam, it's all about the Broadway musical Funny Girl. Y'all know Don't, uh, don't Rain on My Parade, right? Alright. Uh, oh, Jacob, you actually do... Jacob, you do know this song because I, I showed it to you and you said you appreciated time signature. Go ahead. This dime bag from Pantera. I think he died last year. The guitar you were asking about is guitar. You need to stay back where you are because if your nipples are close, too close to the camera, we're all gonna explode. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around the clouds of rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly, I simply got to. If someone needs a thrill, it's me and not you. Don't tell me you're allowed to rain on my parade. I'll march my band down. I'll be my drum. And if I'm fair down, your turn as that, sir. At least I didn't think it that, sir. I guess I didn't think it. Yes. Alright, we can be done. Alright, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. 
My spaghetti. What was that? I was singing Don't Rattle My Parade from Funny Girl. <laughs> we did not write a new one and not tell you. Um, I'm working on a new song about Jacob Boyle's nipples. If anyone has any suggestions for lyrics, so far all I have is pointy, pointy, yum, 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 pointy, pointy, yum, yum, yum. That's the chorus, so it needs to work. <laughs> you sing a song about Jacob Boyle. Whoa, someone in the chat said, can you sing a song about Jacob Boyle nips? That's crazy, because I just did. Did they say that before I started singing it? That's really wild. Can you sing Matilda the Musical? You guys know any Matilda the Musical? You guys would love it. Um, um, just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin and wear it, nothing will change. Even if you're little, you can do a lot. You must see that every little thing like nipples up you. If you turn around and let them get on top of you, might as well be saying you think that it's okay. But that's not right. Down and now, and if it's not right, down and now, you have to put it in the Should we do one of our songs? I don't know. I kind of don't want to. Let's write a new song live. Don't oh, nah, just kidding. Um, we have too many new songs in the work. I love it. New genre, punk Broadway. Thank you. I do feel like that sums me up, Shadow. Shadow? Yeah, I want to know who Shadow is, but I also don't want you to say it in the chat. And so I want to know secretly. So tell me later. Sorry for saying idiot. That was me. Inappropriate. Oh, Luna. Message. Oh, this next song is a song. You get into my brain like I inhaled the water from the pool. You get to know my friends, convincing them my quirks don't make me cool. You would know if you learned to listen I'm to show you the price of a mission But you're in my head I like you better Dead on your worst day Bet on the first day Baby, you are so unworthy You crawl into my soul Control me like a puppet on a string Tell me you make me whole Convincing me I owe you You would know if you learned to listen How to grow to earn my submission But you're in my head I like you better Dead on your worst day, dead on the first day Baby, you are so unworthy We've been like a spider on water Blow me in like a lamb to the slaughter Heart is stained like the roof of your mom's car Can't complain cause you're making me strong, yeah. Cool. Those boys be looking kind of cute, though. Oh, we, you don't, we don't need you to objectify us, but thank you. Luna is throwing a fit. Um, huh? Oh. Um, that song is fun. Uh, I think Kaden wrote like a riff, and then I was like, all right, what am I write about? Someone just say something random. Say something in your mind. And Jacob Boy was like, you guys know the the roof, the stains on the roof of the car? <laughs> like that you're miming it. And did you mention the mom, that it was your mom's car? And your mom's So, the, it was a long time ago. I was a little kid. Me and my brother, 
I believe you're there somewhere, Ryan. Love you. We were there in my mom's car. We were really little. There was a stain on the ceiling. It looked like chocolate milk. We didn't know where it came from. That's, do you know that it was chocolate milk or does it just seem like it was chocolate milk? It was probably chocolate milk, but I don't know. For a dollar, name a woman. Ah! Name a woman. Mad name. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Um, shout out to Billy Eichner. Ow. Um, uh, uh, but anyway, and so he's like, he mentioned something about the stains on the roof of the, his mom's car, and I was like, okay, that's the first line I'm gonna have for this song, and then I'm gonna write the song based on that line, and so I wrote the I wrote the whole song based on um, Jacob Boyle saying that, and I I think it's a great lyric. Um. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, you know what's interesting? <laughs> do you guys, do you guys ever do this? Brian Cantwell, you are so great. That's such <laughs> Thank you, Dad. That's like those memes where it's like someone, like a grandma commenting on like someone's Instagram post and being like, hi, sweetie, it's me, you look great, love grandma. You know what I mean? Um, uh, do you guys ever, are we ever like in the middle of performing and you guys are ever, you're like feeling it, you're jamming and then you're like, oh, and you're, <laughs> In your head, you're like, wait a second, none of this matters. We're all going to die one day. No. no, that doesn't happen to you guys? Does that happen to you, titty man? Uh, t milk man? No. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? It happens from time to time. Uh, all you can do is focus on the now. Live in the moment uh, and try to yeah. make the best of the... Uh, make the... You, so, so it does happen to you, though? Like mid-performance? No, it doesn't happen okay. mid-performance. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> nah, I don't. It does happen when I'm at some of y'all's concerts, though. Dragged for Phil. I'll just be like having the time. It's the intrusive thoughts. They'll be like, none of this matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Anyway, the Barbie movie did a really good job when they were like, is they're like partying and they're like, do y'all ever think about dying in the middle of it? And that used to be my bit at parties. Now it's not my bit because I'm like, oh, the Barbie movie does that bit. But um, yeah, that's how I feel. So just know that while I'm singing and I'm having a great time, it appears I'm actually thinking about death. Okay. Question for each member. What's your favorite song? Barely. Uh, wait, no. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go around. Yeah, and ask us more questions. I would love to hear your questions. <laughs> My favorite song is Anthem Part 3 by Blink-182. It's a hard one, but uh, I'm going to go with Orion by Metallica. Inca Rhodes, Frank Zappa. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, probably one of my favorite songs is probably Ocean Avenue by Yellow Card. Oh, Mine is uh, 2001 by Mirror Maze. Um, no, I don't, I don't, I have a playlist of my favorite, favorite songs, it's like 10. I love Chasing the Sun by Sarah Bareilles. Sing it sample, sing which one? Well, we're gonna sing the one that I said, sample my fave song. Um, I don't know if we all know, I mean, I know Anthem part three. I don't, I don't. Oh, way young. No, that's when we were young. <laughs> we it. Oh my God. How am I blank? Again, and they sin and dreams die. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Um, but no, yeah. Like I said before, I mean, so many. People have great questions. I have a question. Why is a woman? No. It's a great question. Let's actually talk about it. A woman is basically Caden Cantwell, but after his circumcision. Um, can you sing Shalom Aleichem? Shalom Aleichem, Malachem, Malachim, Bashad, Farah. What? I'm just vibing. I don't think we have a deadline. I thought it was just like, end around here. I'm planning to go all night. I'm, I'm making this work until like 10. No, sorry, we're going to midnight. No, just kidding. All right, what's next? This next song is a slow song. It's sad. Oh, yeah, I got you. Huh? No, stand in front of me. Stand in front of me. I'll just do this. I'm trying to give you wings. Stand in front of me. 
Oh! Oh, you gave me wings. Oh, wait, no, but that's the other song. But that's no, that's the song. <laughs> you get no, he can't. He doesn't know Jewish words. I forgot what we were talking about. All right, I don't like covering you. The world needs your nipples. <laughs> he didn't mess up. It was supposed to be like that. <laughs> I don't remember how this starts. I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe leaving is less of an end than start. Been drinking, stop blinking. Self fulfilling prophecy if I depart. Does it matter in the long run? I'm waiting water. <laughs> Give it 2,000 years and then some. I waited long. To believe in when you say we've just begun unspoken I'm hoping I can take it all back there when I was young Do you feel it when it sneaks up? It's always lurking Never want to stop when life speeds up It's not worth it Thing and I just caught up a bunch of phlegm. <laughs> um, can you sing Mirror Maze by the band Mirror Maze? Would you heard a song called Mirror Maze? Thank you for the suggestion. For a dollar name a woman. Uh, 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 Zoe Zalanki. Um, I love this song. It sounds so amazing. Thank you. I want, this needs to be on a movie soundtrack. Cool. Thank you. Um, it was actually written, I, I wrote it with the intention of it being in the live action version of Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakle. So that's crazy coincidence. Um, I don't know if it's your mom, but I, I would love, if it is your mom, I hope she doesn't say so we can pretend it's just a fan who really loves this. Yeah. Your mom is my best friend though, probably. Sometimes I'm like going through my head and I'm like, who are all my friends right now? And I'm like, oh, probably Miss Cantwell is probably my best friend. <laughs> um, um, you guys are awesome and then it's this face. I don't know if I could do that. Can you guys do it? 
just where did that no that just sounds like your laugh that sounds like your regular laugh <laughs> are we all wearing our friendship bracelets Okay, well, we have two of them. And then someone, we, we had someone make a, a friendship bracelet with our songs on it, 2001, which is really cool. That song makes me so emotional and um, recall. And it was really fun having you guys just like scream it along with me. That, that, that added a lot of, it really just like made it, it, it easier. When are we going to see a music video? Um, as soon as Will Altamire directs it. Right now? No, any time, right now, yeah. Coming out next weekend. No, don't lie. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a crazy thing to say. It's, uh, I don't know. I've actually, a few people have been like, you need a music video, like, and so we should, but I want more people to, I want to know that, like, people are going to watch it. Yeah. When are we going to see a music video? Oh, that's the same question I just read. Um, yeah, rewrote recall. You you came to me with this melody and I improvised over it and I recorded the improvisation and then I was like, oh, I love. It actually started out way faster. The riff I had was like super fast and it wasn't planning to be a so song. Yeah, yeah. I looked back at the recording a little bit ago, like of me doing it in my room, and it was like super fast. Um, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. We we always are like, we gotta write fast songs, and then we accidentally write slow songs, and we're like, wait, but we really like this. Um, yeah, I love writing songs with these guys. It's so much fun. They made me so much more passionate about it, and I'm very grateful. Who wrote that last song? That last song, are we supposed to say, or should we just be like, we all wrote it as a band? Hey, Jacob Boyle wrote it. Jake wrote it. Jake wrote it. Jake wrote it. <laughs> Um, no, Caden and I wrote it, but like we all, we all like contribute all the different, and like, and actually like, I don't know, like we all write different parts of the different songs. I should probably look this way. Um, this is so fun. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we have, we have two more songs, um, but we can also do more. I, I've been really wanting to cover Best of Both Worlds by a little known artist. Awesome. Don't you him? <laughs> Max, you're wearing my favorite texture. Thermal. <gasps> Leave it all to me. Just we should cover that. The lyrics, I love that song because the lyrics are so nonsensical. Yeah. Boring. No, just kidding. Yeah. All right. Uh, this next song is coming out soon. I don't know what it's called yet. These died. They're alive. Let us know what you think this next song should be called. When are we going to see Mirror Mace in the strip club on a strip pole? Well, that's actually his weekend job.
Get your stung on your finger And try removing the stinger Another just like the one before Come buzzing around asking for more Did they see what happened? See the way he was flattened Now they're dead just like I said The rich are red, the blood is bled Feasting you and proceed to die So what's another sacrifice? Sun clean, we're crumbling inside You were better with whatever, but we're better alive We didn't watch the flames ignite The queen's in charge, you blame the eyes And me and you are worth a try I know you and I know you know we're better alive Ooh. Oh, 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 what? Are you okay? You rain on your rain Both victims slain To save the enemy What's the point of legacy? Who determines the penalty? Weaponry over empathy Mission you empathy to die So what's another sacrifice? Come clean, we're crumbling inside Think we're better with whatever, but we're better alive We didn't want the flames ignite The queen's in charge, flame knife And me and you are worth a try I know you and I know you know we're better alive I know you and I know you know we're better alive I know you and I know you know we're better alive Feasting you, feasting you, feasting you and proceed to die Feasting you, feasting you, feasting you and proceed to die Did I kick you in the head? Yeah, but it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, <laughs> um, Cool, yeah, that song is coming out soon, and that's really exciting. Please share the stream. And more questions. Please All right, let's see what else. Cough is a lyrical genius. Stop. Ouch, I got stung by a bee. That's an insane coincidence that you got stung by a bee while that song was playing. Wrong website. Oh, they probably meant to go to bear. Never mind. Can you do a cover from American Reject? I don't know the story of that. Oh, what's that one song? Swing, swing, swing from the tables on my heart is I'll tell you my dirty little secret. Don't tell no one who you'll be just another regret. Been my dirty little secret. You asked to know the way we've been inside. That's the background vocals. My secret dream, you guys know, my secret dream is to be a background vocalist, and so sometimes I don't know songs, but I just know the background vocals to songs. All right, the next song is our last song, I guess. Where are y'all from? Japan. Next question. Um, no, we're from. I'm from Memphis. I'm. I was born here, but I'm, I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, mostly. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't mean to. Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles is in California, in case y'all didn't know, because I took away the mic too fast. I'm from Los Angeles, New Mexico. No, you're not. I'm from South Carolina. South representation, I guess. Uh, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Simi Valley. Are you really? Yeah. Isn't that where we are right now? No, I was there earlier today. What? I was in Simi earlier today. I saw a production of In the Heights. I'm sorry. The musical starring my friends. No, it was it was good. Well, the, In the Heights, the production was phenomenal. But Simi was fine. I didn't interact with it much. Fair enough. Name a woman! Uh, Drake. Here's a dollar. <laughs> are you guys, you guys, are we excited for that? Yeah. That's like, I'm like, I don't want to end, but then I'm like, wait. Do I? It's pizza. It's pizza. And I don't like to eat before I sing because I'm afraid I'm going to pull a beginning of the Pitch Perfect movie and projectile vomit on everyone. But I guess there's no audience, so if I'm going to projectile vomit on everyone, today's the day because it's just G-Boy. <laughs> um, I want to give a shout out to... Was I supposed to say something to you? I want to give a shout out to DM Tower Sessions, to Matt, to G-Boy. For... Oh, is it where you're from? I'm from California. He's from West Hills. You're from West Hills, right? Yeah, from West Hills. Yeah. Um, we all. Um, I, yeah, no, DM Tower Session, thank you guys so much for having us. This is really fun. We performed like nine shows last month or something, and we haven't done any this month because he was traveling Japan. 
And we all were like, oh, I missed this. And so this was really fun to get to do because usually when we perform live, it's like a concert. And this is fun because we get to, I feel like nobody's watching, but I know people are watching. And so like, I feel like I'm goofy. I feel like this is like a rehearsal because we're being silly. But and then I'm going to watch this later. I'm going to be like, uh oh, this was for real. Um, oh. We have uh, two shows this month and then one at the start of next month. Uh, on the 20th, we're playing with Love Letter, What Something, What You Once Were, and The Grin in Orange County at FTG. Uh, and then on the uh, 28th, we're playing at Universal Bar and Grill. The only band I know for sure that we're playing with is American Woman. Uh, I, yeah. And, um, and then on May 4th, we're playing with Will Flower, October, and uh, Nate Horowitz, and like Sweet Silver. So if you're around for any of those, also, hi, mom. Um, okay. I don't want to do the last song. I want to keep going. This is really fun. Send in more questions so we can ask more, answer more questions. Wait, when at Universal? What? When at Universal? I'm, oh, a time? Or, yeah, yeah, Universal Bar and Grill at uh, 5 p.m. We're on at 5 p.m. It's a, it's a sun, it's a Sunday night, uh, the 28th of April. Wait, I don't think I can make that day. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, so that's early. Can we still be drunk? Okay, cool. Not that we're ever drunk when we perform. That would be really inappropriate. Does anyone else have anything that they really want to say? I would love to hear hear more from you guys. A question? Yeah. Give you a question? Uh... Alright, I have a question for you boys. If you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? Again! Uh, I would be right here. Maxwell's bed. Okay. You know, I, I honestly... I would be right here because you guys are here, but if I could bring all of you with me, I would be in London with all of you. Uh, I gotta go with uh, Antarctica. What did you say? Antarctica. Antarctica, for sure. Antarctica. I love penguins. Your nipples aren't talking. Are they sheepish? Uh, okay. Right, yeah? Wait, 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 All right. Wait, wait. Okay. Chechnya. They, che the country, the nation of Chechnya just banned music slower than 80 BPM and faster than 116 BPM. If you're writing music, it Chech ironically, the Chechnyan national anthem is 76 BPM. Chechnya just banned their own national anthem. Where is uh, it's a former Republic of the Soviet Union, I'm pretty sure. That's Russia. Russia is one of them also. <laughs> we can't have two smart people in the band. That's too many. Just kidding, because you guys are really smart, too. Don't mess up my light. Yeah, wait, I'm sorry. You better put my light back. I need those nipples to glow. Um, anyway, yeah, I guess this is the last one. I'm having a lot of fun, so I want to stay forever. But thank you guys so much. We're classic band Mirror Maze. And, yeah, we're really excited to be here. I love you guys. These guys are amazing. Please uh, clap for them. Clap for them in your homes. I, 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 I want to know because, because they're so talented, and I'm so grateful that I get to work with them. Oh, that's fun. It's bad that I can see myself. Drums, 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 drums.
Thank you.